everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my do's and don'ts when it comes to applying under eye concealer. As many of you know, I am 45 years old and in the last five years or so, I would say that my under eye area has definitely changed. And I am by no means saying that 45 is old, but let's be real, with the passage of time, our skin changes. You might be in your early to mid 30s clicked on this video and are hoping to get some helpful tips and tricks because you feel like that even in your 30s, your skin has changed. And we do begin the aging process as soon as our late 20s. Of course, everybody's under eye area is going to be different, especially if you are comparing someone in their 30s or even in their 40s to someone in their 60s or 70s. Our needs are gonna be different. But I really feel like the do's and don'ts that I am going to be bringing you in this video will apply to anyone. So if you're interested in seeing what those concealer tips are, the do's and don'ts for having perfectly brightened and concealed under eyes without looking heavy and cakey and dry, then please keep on watching. Do prep your under eyes with an eye cream. I really love this one from Mario Badescu. It's the Hyaluronic Eye Cream. I find it's the perfect consistency to use under the eyes. It's not too thick or emollient. Do use a color corrector before applying concealer. I've stressed many times in my videos the importance of using a color correcting product to help neutralize the purple tones underneath the eye. I really love this Instant Eye Lift from Trish McAvoy. It has peptides, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E. I've spoken a lot about the Color Science Total Eye, which is another product I love, but this one is a little bit more affordable, but just as effective. You also don't want to apply your concealer in that enormous upside down triangle shape that you see so many YouTubers do. That might be fine for them and their 20 year old eyes and for video and Instagram photos, but for real life and for those of us that do have texture under the eyes, all of that concealer is a recipe for disaster. It is going to be too thick and too much and all that excess is going to fall right into the fine line, making the under eye area look very aged and as I said, dry versus youthful and smooth. Personally, I like to use a synthetic concealer brush to apply the concealer underneath my eyes, especially into this inner corner, because I feel like you have a lot more control that way. Sometimes when you use your fingers to apply or you go directly from the tube, you get too much product. And like I said, the brush helps you to have some control. And then I also prefer, I do sometimes use a damp beauty blender, but I prefer to use my fingers to press in the concealer because that really helps to make it one, make the product one with your skin. I don't recommend applying the concealer right up to your lower lashes. I think it's much better to apply it all the way up to where your lashes cover your skin. Because if you go right up to this area right here where your lashes begin, you're more likely to have excess products settle into that line that we all have right under here. So keep it a couple of centimeters below. This next do is one you might not have seen before. You do want to take a tissue and blot off the excess product underneath the eyes. I promise you that this will help the concealer not to settle into fine lines because you are lifting off any of that excess weight, any of that excess product that is more likely to find its home in the under eye texture. And believe it or not, I only have one more do and one more don't. Don't use a lot of powder to set your under eye area and choose which product you do use to set wisely. Not all powders are created equal and not all of them are great for more mature under eyes. For instance, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I've spoken a lot about that in prior videos that I feel that that particular powder really ages me under the eyes to an, a very scary degree. So if you've tried that product and you too have not had luck with it, I highly recommend these two. One is the Huda Beauty Baking Powder, and the other one is the Lawless Brightening Translucent Powder. 
Both of these are going to give your under eyes a very airbrushed effect. They don't create more dryness or a dry look. They are two of the best powders I have ever tried for my under eye area. The Huda Beauty does have fragrance and the Lawless is a clean green product. So depending on what you can tolerate, what's important to you, either one of those two would be an excellent choice. And then finally, when you do use powder, apply it with a damp beauty blender. This is a really good trick for, much like the fingers, allowing the product to melt into the skin, to become one with the skin. When you're applying the concealer, that's your fingers, and when you're applying the powder, that is the dampness of the Beauty Blender. It will really work the product in versus sitting on top, so you'll get that smoothing effect without the cakey effect. Okay, I really hope you all enjoyed these concealer tips, these do's and don'ts. This was a rather short video for my channel. I tend to talk a lot and go into great detail, but this is pretty cut and dry. A lot of these do's and don'ts you might have already known, but I just wanted, wanted to make one quick to the point video that will hopefully help a lot of you that, as I said in the beginning, that are struggling with changes in your skin as you get older and dealing with much drier under eyes and knowing how to conceal them and the best products to use. I do have some older concealers, best concealers for mature skin videos, but I do plan to do an updated one because in the past year, so many companies have come out with incredible concealers that work so, so well on more mature under eyes. So look for that video coming soon. And if you wanna be sure that you are one of the first people to be notified when the video goes live, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you've hit that notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. The username is all Risa Does Makeup, and there I typically will post when a new video has gone live as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.